Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let's look a little closer at keywords in this verse. How would you feel if, for any reason at all, your employer refused to pay your hard-earned salary? We all have an innate sense of justice. Wages for a job well done, doing time for a misdeed. In a similar sense, we deserve the proper wages from God for how we live our lives. Sin is living independently of God. Sometimes it's active rebellion. Often, it's simply excluding God from our lives. In the Bible, death always means separation from God. The Bible says that all have sinned. We all deserve to be eternally separated from a holy, sinless God. That's the bad news. But hang in there. This one single tiny word is a very important hinge. Death is the bad news, but the good news is coming right up. While wages are earned, a gift, on the other hand, is something we get for free. A gift is free for the receiver, but the giver had to shoulder the cost. In this case, it was God Himself who purchased this gift. We have pointed out that death is eternal separation from God. Its polar opposite is eternal life. This is our gift from God, eternal life. It was Jesus who paid the price. No one else can offer this gift. No one else can afford the cost. God took the initiative to reconcile us to Himself through Christ's work on the cross. Our part is to trust that His Word is true and repent of all that the Bible calls sin. Jesus desires to forgive us, but we must choose to take Him on His offer. Would you like to start a relationship with God that will last forever? We invite you to say a short prayer in your own words. Ask Jesus to come into your life and to forgive your sins.